There we go. Welcome <laughs> to Zero Page you. Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and with sound now yeah, and picture, uh, we're going to be playing an Atari 7800 Yay. game on After Dark tonight. <laughs> Thank you, the D Train. Thank I'm glad -train. someone out there was paying attention. <laughs> we're going to be playing um, Attack of the Petsky Robots. Woo there we go. Nice. Um, now with sound. <laughs> um, welcome, D Train. Yeah. We haven't really played this game, mostly because I haven't had a proper controller. We struggled with the controllers, yes. Um, first, uh, yeah, not many people watching. First of all, <laughs> I got a cartridge, which was a very... Kitten! Hush, hush. Um, very <laughs> early cartridge mm. that had some code that didn't work quite properly with the SNES to Atari adapter. And I remember trying it out and really, like, and it, it was, was a, a bit of a struggle. It was awkward. Yeah. Um, but then I got the proper cartridge. Yes. Um, and then I waited to buy something I could actually, well, let's undo this, <laughs> have a arcade stick to play it with, because I like these a lot better than D-pads. Um, so I bought a super advantage for the SNES, mm -hmm. because it uses SNES adapter. Um, you can use lots of different control schemes. Um, but this is the one that has all independent independent buttons. So Ooh, we've just got uh, six buttons we can use and a controller. Look at those colorful, colorful buttons. Very colorful. So that's what we'll be playing tonight. Nice. Um, but first I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers Down scrolling here. beside Tanya. Right down at the bottom. Right in that little corner right there. And they are... Woo. 8-Bit Poet, Al Nefer, Andrew Atari, Arkham H, Arms Guard, Coda, Atari, Dan, under XL Rules, Atari, Nintendo 74, Atari Age, Atari's Maximus, Beef, Supreme, Via Poca, Bruno Stex, Charles Donmel, Charles Wynn, Shitla, Cold Patch, Sierra Rebo, Dianoid, Dan of C, Debella Donna, DJ Lemon Fresh, Drexel, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Dev, Great Defender Ground Trooper, Johnny, WC, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G, Karakak, Croco 2600, Gavaltifer, Lambda Express, Mark Yannis, Mark Smaysink, Metal Atari 969, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Tell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Sarnwood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Fun, Monster Neo, Neo, Neo Media, <laughs> Nostalgic <laughs> Pack Rat, Peak B, Kohog, R. Anchowitz, R. 70, Rented Ghosts, Reventula, Ricardo Pim, Rodcast, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spindly S. Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan, K Team of Track, MD, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, VVD Double Down, X Hen X. And if you want to support the show, hit subscribe and I'll say your name out. Or you can just follow. Hey, D Train, thank Yay, you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Cheering us on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dan. Uh, and Dan, Woo. nothing. You didn't miss anything. No. Nope. Just the name. Just started. Um, so we're going to be playing Attack of the Petsky Robots. Uh, this by Chunky Pixel Games. Mm. Uh, made by Matt Smith and Mike Sarna. Mm. MK Smith and Revenge. Uh, Noel Aman did the music. And originally coded by David Murray, 8-Bit Guy. Nice. Um, and that's why I'm wearing a Commodore 64 shirt. Nice. Because that's really where it kind of started originates uh, yeah it sort of because it's attack of, of the petsky robots petsky. not attack of the ataski robots Asky? Asky? yes hey 8-bit poet welcome so people are coming in there we go um so we did have the world premiere of this game originally on december 3rd 2021 so three years ago uh, and then it was released at prge on october 15th 2022 and uh yeah now it's time to actually play the game I think um, it does have a soundtrack that you can buy. Yes, I do. For the game. I do. Uh... So let's just take a look at that quick before we get into the game. So Attack of the Petsky Robots original soundtrack. Um, there are 46 tracks. Nice. And they're from all the different like releases levels? that the game. Oh, releases. So the different platforms. Oh, gotcha. So you can see C64. Kind of small. Robot attack, and then there's robot attack again. So these are all the themes. Ah, gotcha. For C64, Apple II, like they're all the same songs, but yeah. you get to hear on the how they sound yeah. and all that. Yeah, cool. Amiga, Mega Drive, Atari 7800. We'll be hearing those tonight. Ad lib, PC speaker. <laughs> if you only if you only have a PC speaker. Uh, full soundtrack to the Commodore 64. Da 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 da. Uh, by 8-Bit Productions, as well as my part in the Mega Drive's Genesis version, adventure through nine action-packed levels, defeating robots using various gadgets and weapons to save the world. There we go. 
Uh, 7800 music made in raster music tracker. Or in T. Um, so, yeah. I think it's time to play the game. Excellent. So, let's give you the joystick. If you want to start off. I don't even know what the correct buttons are. There's so many buttons on this computer. I will show you. A, B, <laughs> X, Y, L, R. Lots of buttons. Mm. So many buttons. Ready. Pro System Bot OS 3.py. Nice. Uh, human presence detected. Uh. Oh, attack of the 7800 Petsky robots. So, mm. um, that... Shoot up, shoot down, shoot left, shoot right. Okay. And then that is search, and that's move, I think. Search, move, search. Yeah. Those are the basics. So we're okay. going to start with the first map, and we're probably going to do it in easy Standard mode. Standard controls, I don't need it, because last don't time this it. was the whole yeah. mess was switching the controls. Okay. It. Yeah. Do we want to go through the instructions on the yeah. screen? I think that's a good idea. I think it's this one. All right. Find all the hidden items and guns. Yes. Kill all the robots. Yeah. That's our primary objectives. And then use the transporter to get out of get there. Get out of there. Okay. You can move or search things in the game. Be sure to search all the crates and the objects, including the spaceship at the start of the game. Because that's where you get your blaster. Mm -hmm. To progress, you must find weapons and keys to lock doors. Press move or search will activate a flashing cursor. Pick the thing you want to move or search by moving the cursor over it. Be careful not to move things and accidentally box yourself in. Mm -hmm. Green canisters explode with damage when shot or something nearby explodes. Pressing the console pause button will bring up a map. Press both those at once. Select answer. Yep. Okay. And show your progress. Okay. Oh, no, go to the next page. Go back to the instructions. Next page. No, I think you have to use the joystick to move to the next page. Mm. Direction pad, shoot, A, B, X, Y. Okay, yep. okay. Uh, search left shoulder, gotcha. Move right, search, yep. move. Oh, use item, start. Search button. item, move. Start so. is use. Use item, yeah. Map, select and start. Select and start. Swap item, select and left shoulder. And then swap gun, gun. select. Okay, you're gonna. Okay. Well, select well, and left, select and right, yeah. okay. We'll, we'll For swapping items, select left and right. Left was search and move. Okay. Hey, Sword Chucks, here because I recently bought a, I'm, I'm guessing you mean 2600 plus. Unfortunately, it broke almost immediately. I had to return oh, it. Oh, no. I've been hearing some things about the pins a lot have oh, been really? failing. Like they've been bending and not working right. Really? Was that was that the issue with yours? Or did you just get them done? Um, or is it something else? Keypad. Did you get a new one as well? Okay. Oh, I see. Let's Different ones. No, just swap items. Button. Swap. Okay. We don't have a keypad. That's for something else. So yeah. Welcome, Petsky Robots. Gabe by David Murray. Port by Mark Sarner and Matthew Smith. And you found a pistol. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Yeah, somebody posted today that 2600 plus is on sale in the UK for quite a dis decent discount. Kidding. Um, yeah, they are very really? good at replacing them. So um, one of the contacts pins bent back and wouldn't let me insert a cartridge anymore. Yeah, I've been hearing you need to stop your shenanigans, little cat. Stop the shenanigans. I'm leery of getting a new one because I'm sure if a freak accident had a larger issue with the build quality. Well, I've heard a number of that issue, so uh, a bit of both. It could be a freak accident. Yeah. Um, and I saw Ivory Tower Collections actually put his own <laughs> pin headers in his. He's he took a 7800 uh, cartridge port and put it in the 2600 plus. Oh, oh, he's dead, he's dead. Oh my goodness, the he's other dead. one took so <laughs> many. Luckily, you do have a lot of bullets. If you are, Ben from Play On is good about getting them repaired. Yeah. 
So they are very responsive about any issues. I don't know if there's things in there. I don't think there are. I'm just practicing a little yeah. bit. Getting used to it. Yeah, it's, it's fine. So your primary objective is to kill all the robots. 100%. Okay. And if you press the select and start to bring up the map, you can see there's 14 robots. Uh -huh. So, and 15 secrets, which are things you need to find. They're not really secrets, they're just hidden items. You can see all the robots on the map uh, moving good. around. And you on the bottom right. So there's some outside robots and there's some inside robots. Most of them I know are there's inside. stuff to be found on the outside, so I'm kind of just running around the outside first. Yeah. Because I know there is stuff there. I know there's some robots, guys. However, after returning it, I got the entire library on emulator, so I've been enjoying that. They've been making leaps and bounds with the compatibility of the 2600 plus, especially in the 7800 realm. It's almost has 100% compatibility with original and homebrew. I think there's only like four or five games left that aren't working at 100%. So that's really good. And oh, get that pie box. Time, time bomb. bomb. 24 time bombs, in fact. Welcome, Charles Whelan. How do you use the items again? What did it say? Uh, it was, um, one of them was the... No, that's switching. Right. Or was that use? Oh, one oh, of them was uh, use. Let me... Select was use, wasn't it? I already forgot. Sure. Well, now you know. Well, no, I was trying to hit both. There we go. Oh, were you? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still waiting for the CX-78 Plus controller that Atari was supposed to be releasing. Yeah, uh, that would be a good thing to have. So you can play all the 7800 games with two buttons. Or else you'd have to use an old, um, an old joystick, original joystick, or an aftermarket joystick like the ones I have. Apopode, I've always found the perspective of this game disorienting, not your typical isometric. It's it's definitely a down. Straight down. Angry robot. He's dead. I don't think there's ever anything in this. Oh, in the robots? No. I don't think so. Do I need to do that? <laughs> no. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> he just disappears. I mean, they, they just kind of dissolve. So that was a hoverbot. Yeah, those are easy. That's the easy one. They that, don't shoot back. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of wander around. And then there's the roller bot. And then there's the really, which really bad can one. go after you. And then there's the evil bot, which will just, just destroy kill you. you. So you got to treat that robot with a bit more caution. I probably want to go up and around to the left. Okay, there you go. Because once you attack this robot, it will make a beeline for you. Yeah, it's a bit different than isometric. It's not really isometric. It's top down with kind of a isometric slant to it. But I mean, games like RPGs are like this with like Ultima. So I'm, I'm kind of used to it because I've, I've played a number of games that have this kind of point of view where it is tile based and each individual tile, like they don't, the tiles don't cross over and the people don't cross over to, onto the next tile. Because if it was really top down, you'd just kind of see his head and two arms to the side. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of weird looking. I think I've gotten all the so ones on the outside. You killed all the robots on the outside. Yeah. Did you make it all the way to the top right to that thing? Uh, Across the bridge? I think I covered everything. Okay. Did I? I think so. At first, when I plugged in this joystick earlier today to test out to see if it would be working, um, the slow had been pressed in. Oh! And I was like, what is 
going? What is wrong really with this sluggish. joystick? Am I gonna have to open it up? Like it was erratic and super sluggish. And then, because you can't really tell, like the slow is pressed in or not. Oh, it's just... Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. We made it look like there was a building there. Yeah. But... Have to go inside. So now you're going to have to find some key cards. Um, I don't think there's anything in chairs. No, you, you can just, just move, move the chairs. chairs. Those are pillars. Oh. Things in those. And like desks. Magnet! magnet. Now, let's read about the magnet. The magnet is deployed like a time bomb. However, you need to position it over where you expect a robot to roll over it. Uh, if you're in direct contact with the robot, you can also place it directly on the robot. Once attached, it causes their brain to go haywire. They will move in random directions for about 15 seconds. During this time, they're vulnerable to attack, although they can be unpredictable and hard to know where to shoot. Uh, if you place the magnet in the wrong spot, that's a good idea. Use the chairs. For a bit. What? You can pull the chair back. Yeah, I can. You might be able to walk over no, the robot. No, I, I can push it forward. Now you can. You can shoot past that robot? Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's kind of funny to think that a chair could stop a robot. No! Yeah, that guy... There, he's hard to dodge. You want to use, like, a, a, bomb. a bomb or a magnet on him? Yeah, I wouldn't... I'm just going to die! Uh, yeah, don't, don't do that. <sighs> so you do have a bomb, so you know his yeah. path. So what you could do is kind of... Tr ah! Trap him. Oh, God. Run away! Did that work? Uh, you blew up your chair, <laughs> so it did something. <laughs> Jeez. You have to push to the left. Oh, maybe get him? Nope. Oh. No! Did you just miss him? or I just missed him. Or did it not do enough damage? I find, it, I find those guys really hard. You might want to look for health before you start trying to kill that guy again. Oh, no, just missed him. Just missed him. I would look for help. Medkit. Okay, so you want to switch to the medkit? Was it? Start? So what was the magnet again? The magnet... Uh, makes the robots go haywire. So it, it's kind of like the bomb. You have to put it where you want, where you think the robot's going to go. And then when it runs into it... Ooh, is that a window? Is he going to be able to shoot you? He can. He's not. Uh, you want to use a chair in front of you. Don't, don't shoot robots without uh, protection. Or something in front of you. It's not going to hurt you if you don't shoot. So I don't know if there's things in the beds. I, yeah, I don't either. I don't think so, but... Search yeah. Well, if you can search it, then can you search the ground too? I no, know. it 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 does say nothing there. Really quickly, I think. Okay. Yeah. Can't remember, but I don't remember I there being so. a lot in there. 
Uh, oh, yeah, it says you can search them. Yeah. Doesn't mean there's anything there. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, you can search the power transformer, server, crates, air conditioner, <laughs> cabinets, bed. He's not going to shoot you. Doesn't matter. <laughs> So we saw a movie the other day. We did. Yes, Killers of the Flower Moon. How did you like it? Excellent. I loved it too. Great uh, acting, great script, great directing, great costumes, um, everything. Uh, it everything. was a very good story. It was really well done. Yeah, really good story. Adapted from... Um, a book. Non-fiction book. Yeah. But uh, very, like, Martin Scorsese in his prime kind of a movie. Like, just really well done. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was excellent. Because after I, we saw his last film, which was... Oh, The Irishman. The Irishman. It was fine. I did, but I wasn't... It was slow. It was, it was, slow, it was fine. It described fine. it well. It wasn't a... Oh, so I, a med kit. Excellent. Did you search the second one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Is, is he done? He's, he's like making movies about old guys now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's like, oh, no, he's still good. He's he's doing awesome. Yeah. Um, D Train uh, hasn't seen it yet. Highly recommended. Yeah. If you, if, it's it's very, very, very good film. Even if you don't like Scorsese, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it is. It's and okay. um, I'd been planning on a Scorsese movie marathon yes unfortunately for a how many how many days of movie marathon does that require to go through his whole catalog well i originally planned it to take it up to 1999 because movies after that i found are a bit hit and miss with him yeah um but then we watched this movie uh killers of the <laughs> flower moon and i'm like oh my god this is amazing okay i want to include this um so we're we're going to be doing his whole filmography so 60 years of films. Um, stop it. And it'll take um, 11 days of, of about, you know, 9 to 11 hours per day to, to watch all of the films. Do I actually have to kill them all? Yes. That is your objective. To kill all the robots. Okay. Um... So yeah, he has a lot of films. And he does a, a surprising number of documentaries, actually. You have to get like four or five hits on them, don't you? Yeah, don't, don't shoot don't without shoot protection. Him? Get a chair. There's a chair right there. Got it. Move that really far. Can you not, like, bring the chair with you? Or do you have to move it one at a time? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Other systems you can butt. kind of push the chair along hey, with you. Hey, hey, don't play with my hair. <laughs> Being a silly cat, he wants treats. Ape it puts, I still love the last waltz. I have not seen that. I just, um, lot, I just oh, you can move it that way. But that is on the list. Yeah, D train definitely. Are no. you kidding? No. no. I think you do have to see it. Yeah. There you go. Now make a map. Yeah, the Last Waltz. I mean, I was looking up all the movies, and The Last Waltz is like feel like it's a concert, but it's like the the last concert of a band. I remember which band? Yeah. And a is whole it like bunch the of Rolling Stones or no, something. No, no, no. Oh. no, the Rolling Stones are still no, but I, one of the last concerts. <laughs> no, they've been constantly touring forever. This is from thirty years ago. He made this. Oh, concert. I know, I know. So it's a last concert oh, of a that band. One you go? Yeah, um, and all all their friends, like huge names, join them on stage. The band, the band. There yeah. We go. Don't know anything about the band. That must have been a very confusing uh, name when they first started. There's also a a band called Guests. So if they did a double bill, it would be the band plus Guests. Oh yeah, 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 You'd yeah. Be like, oh my god. That is hilarious. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, the band was Bob Dylan's backing band originally. Oh, there you oh, go. I don't know that. I don't really listen to Bob Dylan. <laughs> or much 70s music either. The 
robots, you just got to get something between you and them. Yes, that's they're they're easy kills. The other the the guys who really go after you, you have yeah. to use magnet to disrupt them or yep. bomb to kill them. And the mean 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 guys. Oh, they're really hard. You have to do you have to use like the trash compactor in this level to kill them. Yeah, I can't remember. Or something else that's really clever, like you throw a bomb in and you close the door and you run away and you have to trap them. Famous Canadian Robbie Robertson was one of the main guys in the band. Ah. In the late 60s, early 70s, before he went through his born again phase. Oh. So you've got one of the key cards. You've got the spade. Do you mind not doing that? I don't think you have enough money to replace that sign, little cat. <laughs> He's just staring at me. Staring into my soul. Trying to communicate to me that he wants treats. He's like, I've tried chewing her hair. I've tried killing Bernie. <laughs> They're yeah. not getting it into their heads. Atari does I not want care. treats. No, that's right, D-Train. Well, you want this? You want this with treats in it? I think he does. Oh, he does. Okay. We won't we won't do a cat cat thing. Because there's not many people right now in the chat. We'll just give them treats. Make them happy. Oh, I dropped one. <laughs> of course, he immediately went after it. Yeah, one second. Oh, these Found stinks. another pistol. So... Excellent. Oh, it... is that an upgrade pistol? No, I think I had a pistol. Oh, more bullets, More bullets, maybe? yeah. Oh, that's good. A time there is bomb. a phaser. Should I trigger treat time? Ooh, maybe a little bit later. We'll see how many people... Um, Want to bet? <laughs> well, let's see how many people more join. Or or when we're done this level. Oh my gosh. He's uh, <laughs> playing it around my foot. It's okay. There you go, kitties. We'll make a little area here so we can't get past. And I'll block it here with my foot. Yeah, it's a plasma gun, which you don't have. Check the table. <laughs> so you can use an EMP while that robot's over the water to destroy him. I don't have an EMP. Though. No, I, don't. I know. But uh, if you have one. Where's the treat button? Uh, it should be down uh, by the bits. The 0101... On the d bottom left-hand corner, usually. Oh, that hit me. He, he does go through deck chairs, apparently. Oh, <laughs> deck chairs mean nothing to them. Or, I or maybe I shot the deck chair? I don't know, that's funny. Oh, you got one, Atari. Good. Did you find the tree button, D-Train? You turned it on, right? Oh, I, I haven't turned it off, so okay. it should still be working. Let's see. I think that one. There's one up there. There's the one going back and forth. There's the bad one at the bottom. Yeah. The pink ones are the ones that shoot, I think. Uh. That's me. Yeah, the evil bot. He shreds you apart with his spinning arms. No, he doesn't shoot. The roller bot shoots. The one that's going up and down on the right yeah. hand side. I have not pressed it. I just didn't know where it was. Okay, now that I see it, I realize that I did know where it was at one point. These cats need their claws clipped. So yeah, um... I've done other movie marathons in the past. Let me just bring up which... And I usually do it by director. So let's see which ones I have done. Let's see... What's there? Movie marathons. So the first one I did... 
was Quentin Tarantino. That was a that was a fun one. I'm a huge fan of his oh, movies. Yeah. All his movies are fantastic too. There's really yeah. You know, like there's always something to be entertained by in his movies. Um, then we did Mad Max, which was the first three films, and then the new film. There's another one coming out soon. Yeah, looking forward to Furiosa. Yeah, hopefully it's it's good, and he's. I think I've heard of Mad Max. And then we did John Carpenter, which was quite a slog. <laughs> it was a big mix. It was a mix, yes. A mix I... of bad, oh, excellent to terrible. Oh, yeah. Like, it ran just... the whole gamut of... Uh... Fast and Furious movie marathon. Oh, I haven't seen any of those. I haven't and, seen any of them. I've not, not seen to. a single... Just nothing about it appeals to me. Nothing. <laughs> I don't care about cars. I don't I, care about I, action I would films watch too much. them, but they've just never been high on my list. And... Yeah. Uh, we did Stanley Kubrick, which was amazing. Yes, yeah. That was really good. Too and far. and for yeah. these movie marathons, keep in mind, we watch every film. Every film, every done. short film, every student film you can get your hands on. Yep, sometimes it's, you can't. It's always an interesting experience. Every music video everything that you can find every commercial some things, some things you just can't find no they're just too obscure they're like they would never posted them oh it's all done kittens you ate them all good cats so these movie marathons take days like days and days oh, yeah. and days and this one's going to take 11 days it's going to take half the year to watch we're doing it every two weeks yeah approximately You are trying to call me. No. no. I keep forgetting is if it's start or select. That's the change. Okay. Uh, I mean, select makes sense. Start to put it down makes sense. Uh, then we did Darren Aronofsky. Ah. You like? No! <sighs> Too far away. It's so hard. Because you can't... Just run up, drop it, run away. Run straight up. You have a straight path. Because he shoots at me. Drop it. Oh, no. Oh, you might get him. You nope. Just missed it's him. It's so hard to time it. Oh, my God. Nope. Oh, oh my it's God. It's got a huge range. You are in trouble. Get out of there. Oh. oh, no. And you have to start over again. All over again? Yeah, you died. From the beginning. Yeah. So it's my turn. I guess it is your turn. It's not that hard. You just got to do it. I I, I can't. Re I think is it the EMP that's better for um those guys? Because I I only have a time see. bomb. Yep. <laughs> what like what works better on those? Do you remember? Magnet makes them go crazy, and then you can shoot them because they don't shoot back. Oh, they don't shoot back when you. Okay, well I would have used the magnet a long time ago then. Oh. <laughs> Read up the other marathons. What other marathons over the years? Let's see. So yeah, we did Quentin Tarantino and John Carpenter, Stanley Kubrick, Darren Aronofsky. That spanned it over two years because the first, <laughs> the first weekend of Darren Aronofsky was February of 2020, and <laughs> yes. the second weekend was probably March of 2021 or something. I don't know, but it was a year later. Yeah, much um, later. Completely out of our control. <laughs> yeah, so so it took a while got, to get through that. That got split. Um, and then we did the Infernal Affairs trilogy, which was fantastic. Oh my God, if you haven't seen 2021. That, so good. Uh, ah, Escape from New York says the D train. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, the Darren Aronofsky, those were all very interesting. Yep. He definitely has a theme, a theme running through them, I, I feel. Yeah. Um, we did the 2021 The Lord of the Rings trilogy 20th anniversary. Um, that was a lot of fun. I have since seen that in a movie theater where they do it pretty much every Christmas, I think. Yeah. And, and on the anniversary... And that is a good time. If you like to sit through 10 hours of movies um, and you're okay movies. with that, it's worth doing and seeing all three in a big room with a whole bunch of other people. So that was a lot of fun. 
Uh, Lord of the Rings movies. There's really nothing touches them as far as fantasy. Fantasy films in like there are other good fantasy films, but I find them solid all three the whole way through. Oh my god, so good. It they're just so well done. Um 2022 we did Paul Thomas Anderson. Um yeah, all of his was, films. That, that was, was really really good, really, good, really yeah. interesting. Um some of his films I wanted to watch and hadn't so it was yeah. nice to have the opportunity to that, watch some of his more recent films i hadn't seen and that's a reason to do these marathons for me is yes. that i've seen some of the films and i want to see all the films and you get a really good progression of and if you of it, their skills it gives you more of a sense of the artist when you see yes. all of their films in a row and you can kind of see like not just style because sometimes it's a visual style but like, especially the ones that they direct and write, that there's themes running through all of them. And then if you see their really early student films, yes. I find there's so much in those early student films that become their films later on in life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like there was one short from... Um, oh, yeah. Of course, The Extended. Always The Extended. <laughs> I think it was Darren Aronofsky. It was like a film he did in his 20s. And there were... Psst. Smack that guy. <laughs> there were there was dialogue or something in them that showed up in other films and yeah. and and like that really surprised me oh it, it, no was it, it, was, it was tarantino no 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 it oh. wasn't it wasn't tarantino it was it was i think it was darren aronofsky it was one of his early films and oh, i think it was aronofsky but but that... You could see these ideas become characters and and concepts in later films, which was really kind of neat. It kind of goes to show you the creativity you have when you're young kind of really does stretch out into adulthood, if that makes oh, sense. Yeah. Um, we did in 2023... Oh. Um, the Man with No Name trilogy and No Jimbo. Yep, yep, that was good. Uh, excellent. Um, and then we most recently in 2023 did the Safdie Brothers. Which was crazy. They were, uh, they were all really it, good. Yeah, it, but every film is exactly the same. Kind of. The exact same themes. You get some person who can't deal with life. Well. <laughs> and just as a mess. Well, and they try and navigate the best way they can, and they're not good at it, and they mess up everything they but do. But it's their movies, like the early movies less so, but their later movies are all about ratcheting up the tension. Yeah. And that is what they're good at. And their movies, they just get more and more awkward and tense. <laughs> and when you think it couldn't get worse, it gets worse. <laughs> yes. And the, certainly the last few films that we, we watched... Yeah. Um, and I don't re I don't remember the names. I mean, I remember Uncut Gems. That was fantastic. But Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs too. Was just oh my like, goodness! What is wrong with this person? They have no sense of self preservation. Yeah. <laughs> they just none, and and things just ratchet up. Yeah, it yeah. was really good too. It's good. It like, was. It was really excellent. really good at making the films. And yeah. D Train says, for some reason, Darren Aronofsky has a relationship with the Coney Island Film Festival. Does he show all his films there, possibly? Oh, yeah. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. The D Train, the man with no name, is Clint Eastwood's finest work. Oh, it's so good. It just the atmosphere of those films. They're amazing, those films. Astounding. And of course, the music really makes it. And it's it's funny, though, with all the dubbed... <laughs> Everything's dubbed speaking. into English. Speaking. Every, everybody's speaking their own language, and then it's all dubbed into English. And it's English. like everything else is beautiful and perfect, and then the actual, like, lips and the voices don't ever meld up quite right. <laughs> and it's just such a... I don't know why, but it's such a funny thing because everything else about them is just absolutely perfect, really. Yeah. They're beautiful films. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that a lot, too. David Lynch Marathon. Uh, No. <laughs> We watched... It's too weird. It's just too weird. What was his first film that's super, super weird? Ah. Um, his first film? 
Well, I don't know if it's his first film. It is a good one. Am I thinking of the right person? It is oh, David Lynch. Eraserhead? Eraserhead we watched oh. for the first time. No, I, I watched I, I for watched the first it a long time. time ago. No, but I watched that for the first time. It's really good. It's really good, but super bizarre. It's super bizarre, that, but the atmosphere he creates is so good. Yeah. But Lynch would be good. No. No? I don't. No? I, I don't think I could do it. Really? Um, yeah. It'd be too much. It's just too much. Like, I like a lot, like, um, Elephant Man, Eraser yeah, Head. I've never Dune. seen Elephant, never Elephant seen Man's Elephant amazing. Man. But it's so different than any other film that he's done. So is Doom. Like, yeah. And then the two we have in 2024 that you've you Well, there might not be two now. Because well, probably one. Just one now. Um, Martin Scorsese, and the next one we were talking about was Charlie Kaufman. Yes. Yeah. Because I have seen some of his, there... but not all of his. All a little bit weird and interesting, which yeah. is kind of what They're you want. They're surreal. Yeah. Oh, the D-Train. Darren Aronofsky has entered short films at the Coney Island Film Festival. Oh, okay. He also used to show up at the Mermaid Parade occasionally. <laughs> I don't know what the Mermaid Parade is, but it sounds it awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of mermaids in a parade? Sure. Sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the Mermaid Parade would have been a parade that started in like the 20s or something in Coney yes, Island. You know yeah. what I mean? Old-fashioned. Old-fashioned mermaids. <laughs> Not modern mermaids, you know, like at the <laughs> right. at, at SeaWorld or whatever. But, yeah. So. Nice. Lynch. Who else? Kaufman's definitely up there. I have, I have some more at the top. Do you? That are possible, possibilities. Gaspar Noé. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> That's a tough one. Um, That's a tough one. Plus, I hate one of his movies. You... Love was terrible. I hated it so oh, much. Oh, really? Oh, no. Um, so boring. Movie marathon depressing films? You just put a category of depressing <laughs> films? Just so depressing. Oh, God. Just, just Are you ab- making a list of like super depressing films to watch? Oh, it's there. I have a bunch on there already. Okay. Yeah. It's in a text file. Uh, I don't think you can open it up on this. Maybe. No, probably not. You, you might be able to. Okay, let's see what films are James has in his list. Uh, viewed if it's first uploaded. Yep. Do that, right? It you should be able to open it. Okay. Is the depressing That's, one? Yeah, what films James has put under Jesus. the category of depressing. Oh. Oh my god. Where's the key card? Key card? Oh I know where it is. Where is it? Um uh where did I already get where it? the entrance is on the far left side. Well there's like three of them. There's two of them. Two or three. Do you have any key cards? Uh no. No. Oh, you, see, you haven't found them yet. <laughs> so where? Go to the far left. Yeah. Oh, I know where it is. It's in the entrance. You do have to kill some of those things, too. It's at the I entrance, have. and then there's a table yeah. when you go down. Not that entrance. Uh, oh. Around the side. Uh, there, oh, that table. That, that barely looks like a And table. then there's one hidden in another room, too. Okay, depressing movie marathon. You have Plague Dogs. Yeah. Which I haven't seen. but I've I haven't seen either. Heard it's Threads. Just... Oh I my haven't gosh, seen, but... that's the most depressing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it starts off bad and just gets worse. Worse and worse. Oh, 8-Bit Poet says Denis Villeneuve. Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, I'd have to look at his filmography. Yeah, I don't know, t- I don't know too much. Um, he did Blade Runner 2084. Oh, yes, yes, okay, yeah. Um... um. Yeah, a bit put remind me of Denny Villeneuve's films. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, the D train says Mermaid Parade takes place every year on the Saturday closest to the solstice oh. in Coney Island. People dress up like mermaids, Neptunes, and sea creatures. Cool. People march, there are bands, kids and their parents, naked mermaids, etc. It's really, that does sound like a lot of fun, actually. It sounds like what? a good time. S- summer solstice? Uh, close to the solstice. Oh. I would guess summer yeah, if, they're, be, if they're naked mermaids. It'd be cold. I would hope. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, not better the winter. not be spring. <laughs> uh, winter solstice. Winter yeah. solstice. Oh, burr. Uh, Ape put Arrival, excellent. The new Dune films, yes. I yeah. am excited for the second Dune film. James is not as excited. I really liked the first one. You were not, you just didn't like the fact that it wasn't a full was film. Pro- no, no, no. That wasn't my problem. I thought that I don't was mind your that. problem. No, no, no. <laughs> No, what was it? Oh, he just coasts through life. 
He he's perfect at everything and coasts. Yeah, but life. I, I think that was my problem. There was another thing too. But that is kind of the point of the story, from what I understand. Yeah, but you need struggle. Yeah, he had no struggle with anything. He was perfect immediately. It, well, it's it's like but I the think, Mary Sue yeah. thing. It's like, nope, I'm perfect already immediately. I believe that that's a bit of a theme in the books, though. Which, but I didn't have a problem with it in in like David Lynch's Dune for some reason. Yeah. But this one, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, summer solstice. Yeah, just for clarity. <laughs> <laughs> no naked mermaids on the winter solstice. <laughs> the books, yeah. Yeah. Blame Frank Herbert, he wrote the Dune books. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't read the books. I haven't read the books either. I really should. I don't think there's anything in these beds. No, no, I, I haven't found a okay. damn thing in the beds. Uh, it's mainly the crates and the, and yeah, the, I wouldn't even try. No. Um, and the, the filing cabinets. Okay, chair, come with me. <laughs> Come on, chair. We're going for a walk. Okay. Other depressing films. The Road. Correct. Oh yeah. The Road is a depressing film. That's yeah. The Mist oh. again. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> I'm not giving anything away, but oh my god. <laughs> uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Oh, oh, so depressing. <laughs> you get to the end of that movie and you're just like, wrecked, <laughs> completely oh, wrecked. Oh, all these movies, you get to the end. Uh, Donnie Darko 2. Donnie Darko... Eh, not as much, but... Not quite Grave of the Fireflies, but it is a, a depressing film, too. Yeah. Train Spotting. I mean... I don't find that depressing. <sighs> it's one of my favorite films. I love Train Spotting. Oh, it's so good. Uh, it's depressing... Although, I suppose somewhat uplifting in the end, but yeah. uh, they try to give it a positive spin. I read the books, Even too, though it's so not I know that it, it had a big impact on me. I think I read those books. I've read a bunch of other books by, um, oh god, the author. I'm getting, I'm getting old. All these names <laughs> just escape my brain now. Uh, but uh, Irvine Welsh. Um, but uh, they did change a few things because I mean, train spotting is a group of short stories, is, is essentially what they are. So and they've kind of, but that, I love that movie. It's a great movie. Oh, it's so good. Requiem for a Dream, 100%, although we did just see that in that the Aronofsky of, Film Fest. That's part of another film, one. film marathon, but it would be on that list. Oh, if yeah. It, if we hadn't. Nobody wins at the end it. of that one. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> Do you try to have to steer away from depressing movies? I'm not a big fan. I, I need to be in the right mental space to watch a depressing movie. I'd I like to be I love them. warned. <laughs> I don't want to know it and you know, I want to go into it knowing it's depressing. If I don't know it's going to be a depressing ending, it's pretty, it can feel pretty awful. Oh, you want to know. Beforehand. I want to know that it might not end well. I don't need to know oh. exactly how it ends. I just want the warning first. Um, a chair for that guy. Hmm, I guess I'll go get this chair again. Yeah, RC70, the first movie of Dune wouldn't have even made sense if I hadn't read the book. Hmm. Yeah, they plow through important plot points with half-second hints. <laughs> yeah, there's no way a casual viewer would pick up on them. Oh, Schindler's List, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that one, so that would be... Is that it would be good. One? Yeah. Okay, so that I could add that one. I mean, yeah. Uh, Get out of the way, chair. Yeah. Oh, robot, go away. Come on. Any others you would put on that list of depressing films? Like, I'm they have to, to be think. really depressing. Like, like really, like... Everybody yeah. dies at the end. Almost. Yeah, or, or just, worse. just <laughs> the worst possible ending, yeah. So none of these beds had anything? This looks like they might. I think there is there is something, but again... Oh, I think pistol. It's, See, there was something. Uh, yeah, but I think uh, that might have something in the back. That or the table. Alan Smithy Film Festival. Like it. Uh. <laughs> Could be interesting. Alan Smithy. Yeah, uh, I, I knew there was a Alan Smithy Film Festival would just be a big mishmash of <laughs> people's films because. Alan Smithy is. You also had the Coen Brothers movie marathon as yep. possible. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do like a lot of theirs. Some of them I'm not so keen on. Yeah. Manchester by the Sea. I haven't seen that. I've heard it's oh, excellent. It's very so good. Proud, thank you. That's one to put on that list. Okay, so it's select or start that puts that lays Starts, it down. Start and then you put it in the direction you want it. That's what's kept screwing me up. Come on, Bob. Do your stuff. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Oh, it didn't get him. Need oh, two. To... Oh my goodness. It only gets 11 hit points. Do you have to like all the movies to do a film festival? Absolutely not. No. Carpenter, John Carpenter Film Festival. It's there were so some terrible. pretty, pretty stinky movies. In there. <laughs> but very good ones too. Yeah. So. It's a mix. The whole, the road we have on the list. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we yeah we the road is definitely up there. Manchester by the Sea. Should I? Well, I, I'll let you I didn't, it. I didn't find that depressing. What one? Manchester by the Sea. You saw Manchester by the Sea in the theater. Yeah. I didn't know you'd seen it. Uh, where, where did I see it that you didn't see it? I don't know. I didn't see it. In another country? Maybe. Maybe. When I was just Maybe. like I had nothing to do. Film so. festival? No, it definitely was not at a film festival. Crew neckline. Klaslowski. Kla Klaslowski. I don't, don't know, know that. Well, we'll look them up. Can you name one of their well-known films? Typically. Good, but typically. Okay, now I'm going to use... That name up. I love hearing Magnet. about... Characters. French. There we go. Polish film director. Is he going? Oh, this left to right. Uh, Are you still crazy. So back to normal. The red, white, blue movies, which I don't think I've seen. I've heard of them. Yes. Um. Oops. Or am I thinking of someone else? Feature films. Documentaries. Oh, Lots of documentaries and shorts. Up. Yeah. Three colors: blue, white, and red heard of them yeah damn it and a lot of films i haven't heard heard uh, but um i'm ass assuming because blue white and red were french ah got him i think i will use my three colors yeah he also did a ten commandments series in polish Oh. Yeah, it looks like there's there are probably quite a few Polish films in his. So. Well, maybe, oh, I've got the pool not. box. No, yeah, yeah, quite a few. Oh, and one at the bottom still. Interesting. Hmm. So we can take care of the pool bot now. Who is that other Ooh, interesting director? They always play at the Pacific Cinematheque. Hmm. Those films I've not seen any of, but I've seen clips of so many of them. I would do an Akira Kurosawa, Akira Kurosawa film festival, but it would take forever. And, yeah. Because his movies are long and numerous. Although I do own a lot of them, and I've seen a lot of them. A bunch of Ukrainian cin cinema at uh, oh. Pacific Cinema Tech. Now, you said these cha deck chairs don't stop this guy? Uh, he seemed to go in, like, end up on top of it. Mm. I mean, I'm you try can try it. it. Run out of the room if you He start. looks like he ended up on top of it, but I, you, you killed him with five. Yeah. Oh boy! Shoot him! Shoot him! Five shots usually gets him. Okay. Uh, med kit? Med kit. I don't know if I don't, have any. Don't be a Tanya. Don't oh, I do. To take your med kit. Take your med kit! Oh, I can't think of his name. Search the diving board. <laughs> Oop, not moving. Stop it. Oh, no. Can't search the diving board. But there is a table here. Sword Art Online. What? <laughs> what is that in reference to? Okay. There's a lot 
announce the directors. I'm just <laughs> skimming through a list now. I I know I know one that you wouldn't be interested in watching. Uh, doing a festival. On. <laughs> What's that one? The Wes Anderson uh, film festival. No. no, no, I'd get Absolutely so confused not. at which movie I'd be watching. <laughs> Is, which movie is this? It's all the same. All the shots are centered and everybody's quirky. Ooh. And exactly the same actors in every single film. That's true. Cronenberg? <laughs> that would be a weird one. Pedro Almodovar? Ooh, I haven't been in this. Tar Tarkovsky. That's the one. Andre Tarkovsky. I don't think I've seen any Tarkovsky films. And Grave of the Fireflies, keep hearing you only watch once because it's so depressing. It, I've seen it once. I've seen it many times. Oh my gosh. But it is. Yeah, most people say that. It's, it's like so you only need once. <laughs> Sword Art Online, sad show to watch. That's uh anime, isn't it? Sword Art Online? With a name like that, it doesn't sound like it would be a depressing I show. No. Sounds like an instructional video. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Clean your swords. Oh, I have an EMP device. Can I search this? What is that? No. Ooh, so I could move these gas canisters and blow him up that way. That might be good. Their season is pretty depressing. Mm -hmm. So there's two ways to kill this this guy. Mm -hmm. One is to take these gas canisters. And and time bob them and blow everything up or move them yeah to um move it near him and then shoot trap them. him in or well i don't really know how to do that because you have to open the door to get him in um to get him out oh no what you could do is put a chair in front of you can he shoot i don't think he can shoot he just chases you but if he touches you you're so what Dead. I could do is kind of put these in front of him. You can open the door just by getting close to it. Yes. So you. But if I keep something in front of me, he the can't whole get time. You. Oh, that's true. Right. And I'll put another one. There. How many do you need? How many of those do you need? Is one enough? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, crew neck line. We don't want to hear anything about that film. We haven't seen it yet. We will see it. I don't want to hear anything about any film. <laughs> Just that it's good or bad. I Was it good? Was I it avoid good? spoilers. Yeah, we don't As much no. as possible. I, I, don't, don't, I don't even watch trailers. I, I will only watch a trailer if I don't know about the film. Yeah, if I'm and on then the if it, and, or... and then it's like, okay, I'm interested enough. I don't want to see anything more. Yeah. Um, I think you despise trailers way more than me because they're for if i want to know if yeah. i want to see it and if i well, want to see it i don't need to see the trailer right yeah i was gonna say trailers so i should be able to put this oh, don't search. nope you have to get oh. see if i do that then i bring the other one down uh, that'll do it and then you shoot it and that kills him yes fingers crossed well it'll hurt him at least so. um you have a cyberpunk movie marathon? Oh, yeah. What have you got in that list? Let's see, let's see. I like that you've started these lists, you know, in the anticipation. I plan things decades ahead. <laughs> like, so far ahead. Yeah. Because by the time I get to it, I'm like, oh, I've got it all done. Um, the D-Train says, I miss trailers that give you a feel for a movie, but not that give yes. away the best parts of the movie. But people demand to know everything about the well, movie before they go see it now. I, I think as well, it's all about... Now, if I put a bomb... Why did you move it in front? Hmm? Have him just sit. Wouldn't it make more sense? I guess you'll have to be in line with it then. Because yeah. if you move the gas canister into the doorway, and I was going to say... Well, don't do that, because then he gets trapped in the doorway. Oh, But yes. it doesn't... No, 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 that is better. Yeah, so you'd need to move that over. And then, yeah, you can move that. He can't He can't work... No, you You can do it from the side, I think. No, I can't, unfortunately. Oh. And I can't yeah, move you, No, you... That one you just need to pull that away. Can I pull it back? No, I can't. I can only push it 
Oh, so yeah, so. you're stuck. Anyway, it's fine. You're gonna shoot it, right? I'm gonna put a bomb because, yeah. well, no, I can shoot it. As long as I stay in the line here. I'm gonna put a bomb, actually, because the bomb will also do damage to me. Yeah. Um, the G-Turn says, I hate having the best part spoiled. Like, unexpected cameos. Do Ugh. not tell me about those. Yeah. Well, it, it's all about the marketing, and there is a thing where people want to get a sense of how a film is going to end. Is he dead? I hope so. Oh my god. It's a lot of explosions. Oh, he's no! not dead. But he is Oh, blocked. get out of the way. Those things are going to disappear, aren't they? You have to hit him like 20 times. Well, hopefully those... Are they going to disappear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just keep shooting. I mean, that obviously did him some damage. Yay! Yay! Oh, one guy at the bottom. There. So much more impactful when you don't see them coming. Yes, Or, of course. even worse, the only good there, joke there was... is in the trailer, and oh, they don't God. even have it in the film. <laughs> That's right. You know, like, people go, there was a I part... remember this joke, and they're like, but... People are like, oh, it wasn't in the film. It's like, no, I remember it. No, it was only in the trailer. There was a part oh, in terrible. Killers of the Flower Moon that made me gasp because of somebody who was in it. And the audience yes. gasped, too. Yes, yes. It was like, oh, my God. I was so excited. Yeah. Everyone was excited. <laughs> like, oh, my God. one person showed up in it. <laughs> and and people audibly gasped. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it was such an exciting thing. I, I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> like, realistically, I don't know Because they love why. him. They well, love him. You can love him, but it's, it was just funny. It was kind of funny. Because, okay. Because he's probably not in the marketing of it. Well, of and film. that, yeah, exactly. Because it wasn't a huge That's what part. makes it, that, that makes it nice. Yeah. Oh, crew neckline, going to see Godzilla minus one. Oh, yes. Minus color. So they have a black and white version. Yes, I heard about that. Uh, that's cool. That would be cool. We saw the black and white um, um, Mad Max Fury Road. In the theater? In the theater. Yes. That, that was, was cool. cool. Yeah, it worked well. It did. Um, Ooh, do I need to go into that room? Oh, yeah, I bet the D -train, I do. There was an unexpected cameo in Interstellar that I did not know about, and that was a shocker. I Interstellar was was okay. I like parts of it. <laughs> and um, other parts, I was like, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, an unexpected cameo in American Hustle. That was a fun surprise, also. I don't think I've seen American Hustle. No, I haven't either. So those, that's good to know. They don't immediately dissolve. Yeah, so they do block. Which is good. Specifically those. Yeah. I found Interstellar very depressing. Uh, yes, it is it very was. depressing. It's very sad. <laughs> Which I like that aspect. You do like <laughs> depressing films. Yeah. Hence his depre depressing film festival. <laughs> depressing film festival. <laughs> I'm going to call it James's depressing film festival. <laughs> you come down this level. I think you are. Good job. Hi. Uh, Hi, see. Spiky. Hi, Spiky. Oh, one Zach. secret remaining. Oh, there's something flashing. Um, no, that's me. Oh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for that secret. Oh, no. So what do I... Oh, oh you just stay on it. For Game over? Did you just die? No, no. Game over. Yeah, that's the end of the level. Each level is independent. Oh, I thought you went to different floors and stuff, but I guess you that's... Win. It's a game over. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. I thought you just died. I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's a terrible time. Especially for Ease. Oh, well, Like, it's absolutely okay. terrible. That's okay. But we you have finished level one Excellent. on Easy. Very nice. Are we doing level two? Yes. Okay. And then I think that'll be. Yeah. Ew. Meow. Meow. I, I don't think this supports now, the it, Now, should Charles, if he's still there, or anyone else, like to, to uh, treat the cats? Now is the time to treat cats. Meow is the time. If you would time. like to treat these cats. Meow is the time. We'll give people a couple of seconds. Yeah, because <laughs> there's a delay. Ooh, RC70 got my hardware commander. X time. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, Thank you, Charles. really? Very nice. Have you uh, loaded any programs on it? Any games? This game? <laughs> <laughs> it's treat time for little kitties. Okay, so let's switch over. Switch over to the cats. Oh, it's time for a cat. Kitten treats. Puss and bats or Puss pets and, and bats. bats? Pets maybe? and bats. Pets and bats. Pets and bats. 
Oh, Look at these man. guys. So, are you ready? Are you ready? We did give you a few treats earlier. So, the Crying. start your bets now. Thank start you, Charles Whelan. Um, bet on your cats. Pick your cat. Pitch, pick your bet. Pick by how much. Oh, how much do you think they're going to win? Oh, in. Sprite. Yeah, yeah. Sprite's Sprite in the three. lead. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's... Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now only Atari 3 Plus doesn't have a bet. Haven't yet. No darn time. Yeah. But definitely let us know in the chat. It's a very, uh, really cool experiment in making yeah. a new, a new computer. Yeah. A lot of recreations of old computers, but not a new old computer. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing a lot with the Pico 8. Uh, on my handheld. Oh my god, that's such a good yeah, I can, uh, I fantasy can, um, console. There's so I can many confirm great games. You've been playing a ton on, yes. on the Pico 8. Because it's exactly the, the right form factor the you right want, right? System that I want. It's like old school graphics and sound. Yeah. Um, but really powerful at yeah. the same time. Like the graphics are really powerful, but only 128 by 128. But you can do anything with that 128 well, by And I was saying, I like the size of it. It's not oh, huge, the, oh, but it has a nice well, bright screen. That's the handheld. I'm talking about the system. Like the-, the Oh, sorry, sorry. I there's Pico 8 the, and then there's the Pal Kitty. But you've been playing the Pal Kitty a yeah, lot. Yeah, it, it's great on that. Yeah. yeah. But like that form factor. Sorry, oh, I was thinking so good. Pico 8 yeah, yeah. is the- uh, um, but you've been playing that Pow Kitty an awful lot. Yeah, obviously. every night, every yeah. day, yeah. pretty much, because there's yeah. like infinite games on it. Nice. New games being made all the time. Five seconds left. Atari seems to want treats tonight. I know. He's looking at wow. him. Look at him. We'll see begging. if that one person who bet on Atari 3 Plus. Now we've we've slightly altered this. Not much, but we've made it a little more fair so that the cats don't eat each other's treats. Well, That's it's not the cats. The it's this. That cat, the gray cat. He's, he was. He seems to enjoy stealing the treats from um, when uh, when Sprite wins it now. Yep. Give me a second. I just gotta get them in my hand. Pico 8 is a really cool idea. I bought it when it first came out. I had no idea it would be appealing enough for someone to make hardware that can run. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I highly recommend the Pow Kitty so RGB 30 because it has a square screen. Oh, no. Atari is so bad. Yes. Oh. He is a bad. Okay, key. cats. On your sides, on your sides. Okay, ready? Gotta spread the... Oh, oh, oh three sprite. days for Sprite. He's been waiting. So we did miss a show. Is that it's a behind you. It's behind you. Right there. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. He, he gets two, but you can see. My goodness. Oh, it's tied They're up. learning bad oh, habits. God. Bad habits. Get it. Oh, oh they both hit. got it. Yeah. Four or three for Sprite. Oh my gosh, Sprite is really fast today. <laughs> there we go. No, it's good. It's good with the bells apart. He's he's a little bit. It does help a little. Yeah. Oh, that was very soft, but it did count. I did hear it six to four. Hit it. Good there we kick. Go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It it's is neck and neck. It, oh, Sprite's just a little bit dang, faster. Dang. Dang. Hit Don't it. look at me! Oh my goodness! It's game point! Kitten, what's the wrong? Come on, hit it! Hit it! It's game point! Buddy! No! Buddy! You lost! Oh, no. <laughs> you lost. Oh, you buddy. lost! Okay, here's some extras. Chicken feed. Oh my goodness, oh, ten my five. Goodness. Started off pretty good. It did. And it ended up real bad. He looks at me too much. Yeah, he's like, he, he's, are you gonna he's toss like, it? you're just gonna throw it, right? No, you have to hit the bell. So let's Make the see. noise, little Sprite guy. Sprite three plus. Who have never won oh, an Atari? He's 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 definitely uh, the under cat, but so I think just he one does get person. it sometimes. Eight oh, bit, no. eight oh, bit poet. Nice. Bet forty and got fourteen hundred. Oh, wow. that's a good return. That was a good. That was a good bet. That was a good that bet is right a there. Good return. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. My goodness, Sprite was fast today, though. Oh. He, he was, was like smack, eat, smack. He eat. was hungry. <laughs> he was just sucking it down. So, oh, um, 
Me? Oh, yep. okay. I finished the Try last one. So here's your uh, film festival cyberpunk. I was going through your uh, oh, the, okay. the films that you you were looking at. I haven't started. I have a big oh. list for cyberpunk. So here they are. I'm just gonna rattle them off because there's a lot. Uh, Blade Runner, Videodrome, Robocop, Hardware, Strange Days, City of Lost Children, Twelve Monkeys, Ghost in the Shell, Dark City. Existence, The Matrix, Animatrix, because there's one good one in there. Yeah. Uh, Tales from the Afternoon, Little Rocks, my film. Uh, <laughs> Ex, Ex Machina, uh, Blade Runner 2049. Obviously, we wouldn't watch all of those. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure about the cyberpunk one. I would probably more go with my sub genre of cyberpunk, a dystopian cyberpunk. Ah, uh, so very specifically dystopian. Yes, which I would be much more interested in. Which involves, uh, which is Metropolis, the original one, mm. 1937. Uh, I've one on here at The Trial, which I've never seen. I haven't seen Fahrenheit 451. Then THX 1138, um, excellent film by George Lucas. <laughs> if you can imagine that. No, he's made, his early films were really good. Um, Silent Green, Logan's Run, 1984. Brazil, yeah, uh, it, Brazil, yeah, poet, yeah. Uh, Gattaca, I like, I love yep. Gattaca. Battle Roy film. Battle Royale, so good. Uh, forget the whatever stupid series. What is that modern series? Squid Game. No. no. What? Um, where they have little pins and they're little birds and they, all the kids are fighting each other and. Oh, uh, oh, um, the Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Just a rip off of Battle Royale. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, Battle Royale is much better. No, it's it's kind uh, of a weird Battle Hunger Royale Games. for kids, which is kind of it is is very strange. Battle Royale's vicious. Well, Battle They're Royale out to kill each other. I mean, they do kill each other in in the Hunger Games too. Off screen, with no blood. Well, yeah. I mean, the, in uh, the, I'm dying. Yeah. Um. Minority Report, Equilibrium, Children of Men, and Idiocracy. So that is my uh, kind of sci-fi. This one's a big map. It's a huge map. Well, those are all levels, floors. Yeah, I, I really like the dystopian one, so that might be one, but mostly concentrating on... Um, Stop it. <laughs> uh, directors ah. right now. Uh, let's see. I think we've gone through everything here. Oh, no. There's another one um, that I really need to add to. And if anybody knows any other films that I can add to this list, because it's, it's actually quite hard to find um, movies to add to this list. It's... A marathon I want to do called Alone in Space. Uh, where there's one person or kind of one person. Okay. Moon. Moon is fantastic, yes. Uh, technically, it's not one person, but it is one person. Mm. So it goes on the list. Solaris. Which is kind of one person, but not one. Because it's hard to make a movie with just one person. No, nobody else to bounce things off of, right? Okay. Si the Martian. Yep, Martian's on this list. Silent Running. Ooh. I'll have to actually bring up my list. Not add to it. I've not seen Silent Running. I will add to that. Is it like just one person? I don't mind if they start out with a couple people and then they'll They, they end up down. By themselves. Yeah. Because if they're by themselves, at, like shortly into it, and they're, it's mostly dealing with being alone and survival of either mentally or physically or both. Um, and they can get back to Earth at the end or something. That's fine. But majority of like has to be like by themselves. So moving marathons, alone in space. I will add, add silent running to this. I can investigate that. Uh, 2001 is on that list. 
Yes. He is mostly alone. Well, he is for most the of the film. Yeah. Most of the film. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hal kills people off pretty quick. <laughs> uh, Red Dwarf. I would I would add an episode of Red Dwarf. Because he's technically the only human in the whole universe. Well, the whole... Yeah, but he has companionship through non-human. Non-human. And other things. <laughs> but he is the only human left alive in the whole universe. In the lore of the books. Red Dwarf. Station Eleven. What? <laughs> There's tons of people in Station Eleven. We watched the third episode of that. The third episode was great. You really liked that one. But the problem I still have, there's no through line. It's the three episodes stand on their own. It could not, it could have almost nothing to do with the post-apocalyptic. And the third episode would be like fine on its own. It's a really great drama episode. But the post-apocalypse doesn't come into it enough. It's just like, yeah. It's about uh, something post-apocalypse. In the meantime, here's drama set in modern day. It's like, it's a good drama episode. That's awesome. Yeah. Or here's Shakespeare for an episode. And nobody's dealing with hunger or any kind of danger at all. It's like, mm. so sadly, R70, I have written off the <laughs> series. Oh. I have written it off. Uh, two episodes, not great. One, excellent, but not enough post-apocalypse. Apocalypse isn't the point! Well, you lost me then. Uh, two out of three, not good. Two out of three, bad. Anyway. Uh, any other alone in space? <sighs> alien? An alien almost? Is Alien? Was she absolutely alone by the end in Alien? She was, but it takes a while. Yeah. Would that count? I think it would Not count. aliens, because there's lots of... There's a little kid the whole time, of course. Um, contact. I've not contact? I've not yeah. seen contact, so... I'll add it down. I've seen contact. It was a long time ago. I'll put ago. a question mark beside it. Um... Ends up with one person. Station Eleven. Alone in space thing is a tiny thing in the comic, yeah. Castaway. Uh, he's not in space. Otherwise, it would be perfect. <laughs> if he was in space, Castaway, yeah. Yeah, not a dystopia. Yeah. But I also do like movies where it space, is yeah. one person. You but, do, yeah. But a lot of them are in space because it makes it harder. Well, it's to it's, have it, contact with other people. It's really about the isolation of space, right? Like you, you truly are yeah. isolated. What was the other one somebody mentioned? I just started a book talking about alone in space. Okay. I'm in the first chapter. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think Has it's it called, been adapted to I a film. I think it's called Elder Race or something. Uh, Tchaikovsky is the last name. Adrian Tchaikovsky. Mm. I've, I'm only in the first chapter, so I, I can't say much about it. Does Gravity have considerable solo parts? Uh, it does. Yeah, it I does. I didn't like that film. I like that film. It was just... Uh, it was like a roller coaster in space. It was a, just a... <laughs> roller coaster in space. <laughs> um, it was just a, a ride as... A, a, but... I thought you might actually like the Smart concept. Smart Scorsese says, like for comic book hero films, it's like, yeah, it's like an amusement park. Yeah. You ride on the ride, you enjoy the ride, you get off the ride, you forget all about the, the ride. ride. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Yeah. Um, it, gravity, yeah, that's what I felt about gravity. It was very visually nice. Yeah. Not psychological enough here. Yeah, it wasn't. It was It was more of a, a physical struggle, gravity. Uh, it was fine but it just didn't have any lasting effect. Um, I was going to say the book I'm reading. Yep. I'm trying to play a game <laughs> and, and, and think about my book at the same time. Um, it's all about basically, I guess the earth degraded so far that they sent colonies of humans out into the galaxy looking for like a new earth 
Yeah. Um, and, a theme in a lot of and sci-fi. And the, the whole concept of the sci-fi is that it's way, 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 way far into the future of this. So you have one, like, Earth... That's like Battlestar Galactica. There's, so there's an Earth colony, or New Earth or whatever, yeah. um, that kind of dominated. And then there's a whole bunch of other colonies out in the, out in the galaxy. And that main colony sent people to those colonies to check on them to see but to not interfere almost like star, star trek trekish yeah. so they called themselves anthropologists and they would go but they weren't supposed to interact with those civilizations they were Why just supposed to, to 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 report back how they did oh, right okay. and the start of the story is someone from the colony you want to you play i want to okay. talk okay uh someone from the the new the planet, the new colony. They know these people live in, well, in this particular planet. They call them a sorcerer and they live in a tower. Yeah. And this girl goes to the tower to ask the sorcerer for help. And it's kind of all coming out that the sorcerer is actually an anthropologist and he got stranded on the planet because he was there with a bunch of other people and then there was some kind of He doesn't know what, but something happened back on the New Earth, so the other people he was with went back. And then he hasn't gotten communication from them in 300 years. <laughs> so, How, what? How yeah. old do these people live? Uh, well, he's been in stasis. So he put himself oh. in stasis and then got woken up by this girl from the planet saying, hey, I need your help. And he realizes he's been in stasis for 300 years, and he looks and there's absolutely no communication back from his old planet. So he's choosing now to interact with this colony because oh, of course. he's yeah. stranded, right? Like he doesn't, I'm like, oh, that's such an interesting yeah, that's, idea. That's interesting. And it, when you were talking about this stranded person, like the, the person on their own, he's not technically on his own, but he's supposed to be. He's not supposed to interact with, right. he's supposed to just be monitoring this colony, right? Let me get this guy. Bring a chair anyway, inside. I'm in chapter one, but I just kind of like the concept of it. I was There's like, "That's, chair. that's oh, pretty I interesting." That chair out. I don't know what you've searched. There. You have searched this yes. little building. Oh. I have searched that. So I got a med kit from there. You need to tra trap this guy, but there's like no chairs. I pushed. Oh, I, I pushed I'll the just, MPs there. I'll just shoot him behind this lamppost. He's too dumb. Too dumb to go around the lamppost. D train, okay, not psych psychological enough for you. No. Uh, uh, keep oh, going with the edition. If you like third episode, it only gets better. There's a lot oh, more. Okay. Lots more Shakespeare. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want more Shakespeare. Okay. Good night, RC seventy. <laughs> oh, good night. <laughs> um, but anyway, I I kind of really liked the concept of the book just from the first That's chapter, which you point. should. Because if I don't like the first chapter, I'm not reading the book. Well, so. no, it should be that should be one, um, the thing that hooks you in. But right? but it kind of starts out, and you're like, oh, it's a fantasy. There's a sorcerer in a tower, but no, the sorcerer ah. just has much more. Um, yeah, I, I haven't killed that guy because I didn't have a pistol or, or any way to kill him. Oh, a magnet. Yeah, and a bomb. Yeah. Excellent. I will have a magnet and a bomb. Uh, <laughs> um, Where does he go? He goes back and forth, I think. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Um, he will shoot you, though. Uh, ah. I, I just like the idea that this... He's crazy. I will just shoot him. Ah. Is he hitting you? No. bomb would have been I yeah. don't know sometimes they take more than one bomb it's really annoying he's disrupting for quite a while. Yay, yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah. I did get hurt a little bit uh, guy my dad joining late if you're talking about sci-fi recommendations and you like the Martian the author's latest project Hail Mary is an awesome audiobook ah, I think I've heard of that one was intended first and foremost as an audiobook because it has some distinctive audio story components. I kind of like that. What we're well, what what I'm looking for is um, alone in space movies. Yeah, for an alone in space movie marathon. marathon. <laughs> so any 
Anything where the person is hooked in this? Ah, Just try themselves. Feeling. Approaching the unknown might fit in with your solo space theme. I haven't seen it, but I have it in a, a stack oh. of cheap DVDs I need to watch. Oh, I will add it. Yep. And then check it out. Let's see if it works. Yeah, Project Hail Mary fits that pretty well. Closer. Yeah, we're looking for specifically movies right now. Yeah. But um, I was talking about a book I was reading that I like the concept of. But I just started it, so I don't really know what's going Approaching on. Approaching the unknown. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, is there stuff in the toilet? That stuff I've been through. Mess? Okay. I've been through that whole room. I think it's time to go to the second level. I think so. Did you kill everything on this level, uh, including not, the big guy at the bottom? the big guy. I mean, I put a bunch of stuff in front of him. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, if you look, there's tons of this. Oh, okay. But I don't know if you want to try that again or... I do, but I'm gonna put it kind the of. The whole room's gonna go. Push him inside. But you, oh, you probably need a key card to open him. Oh. I don't think you ah. can open it yet. Okay. Yeah. So I'll have to wait till last. Yeah. It okay. prob you probably get the key card on another level, I'm guessing. You have to go back down? I don't know. Is. Level two. Oh, there's another guy in there. Oh, that's level two. Sorry. Never mind. Second Never floor. Mind. An audiobook has the best special effects. Your imagination, says Kevin. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's one of the reasons I like books. I love movies. But with books, it's you put the visuals on the characters. So it's yeah. always interesting to see how books get adapted and whether yeah. the characters match mentally the character you saw when you read the book or yeah. listened to the audiobook. Oh, D-Train, done for the night. Oh, thank you for joining us. Sorry, it's a very late night. <laughs> it is a late night stream. But thank you for joining us. Yes, Hope you have a wonderful um, end of the weekend and a good rest of the week. And maybe we'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back on Tuesday. We'll so. be back on Tuesday. The regular stream. Oh, I've got cats all over me. They're cats shedding. Cats. Uh oh, it's springtime. Shedding. It's warming up. Is it already? It's only January. That's no, not springtime. <laughs> That's not quite springtime spring. in Vancouver. Coming soon. Plasma gun. Woo! Hey, better gun. Only 15 bullets. Ooh, I don't want to actually have it in my hand. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, plasma. no. That's normal gun. Oh. Never mind. You might find another one. I need some more bullets. Let's see. Oh, I didn't go through. Did you go through your list yeah. of dystopian? Yeah. Nice. Cyberpunk dystopian? Yep. Did that whole list. Do you have The Matrix? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yep. Matrix just, is on there. Just one? <laughs> yes. Matrix one. I did not enjoy the second one. I don't remember anything about two and three. And I did not enjoy the third one. I don't so. think it was so much that I didn't enjoy it. They weren't as good, but... Not even close. But I don't... When I think back to those movies, I cannot think of anything about them. You know, it's one of those films where nothing stood out. I don't know. No. The first one stands out so strongly, right? So. Yeah, because it was so unique. Such a distinct voice. really rough in the <laughs> oh, yeah. representation of But he's there. only down to, like, he's still in the he's green. He's still in the green, but he looks like he's been beat to hell. Yeah. He should just have a frown. <laughs> he just has very yellow eyes. He looks like he's jaundice. Yeah, he's not, not Kind of jaundice, so not looking fantastic. Hi, are you going to go after Bernie again? Don't. We just gave you lots of treats. Come on. Really? Seriously, dude? <laughs> Is he purring? He's purring really, he's, really loudly. He's naughty. Those are naughty cappers. <laughs> You're very cute. Ah, pow, 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 pow. Pow, pow, pow. Oh no, I'm running out. You have to switch oh. your plasma head. Oh. I didn't know that was going to happen. Are we gonna start over? Are we done? I'm gonna try for the rest of the. Uh... Buddy. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we can't just do one level. It's pathetic. <laughs> well, we can come back and redo it, but... Hi. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh panic. Oh, panic, panic cat. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my gun. No. Nope. Is it in that little alcove? No. Nope. You have to get a key card from that alcove. Oh. Okay. And then you have to get the gun. It's like on one of the tables. They're so petsky. They are. Those pesky so robots. So petsky. Oh, my. <laughs> Yay, key card. And then you go inside. Yeah. Then you get the gun. Then yeah. you come back outside. I think it's one of them. Table, maybe? Yeah. yeah. They it's don't usually want, right away. They don't want you to mess around too long trying to find no. it. Okay. I'm just gonna use the ba the basics. So you don't have to go crazy on them. You take a lot of shots though. How did I get down it's to like, nothing? It's like wow. it took ten shots. It's crazy. Yeah, it's much harder on this level. It, no, but it seems variable. I don't know why, but sometimes it seems like I, I, first I level was killed just... him in five, and sometimes it takes like ten shots. There's stuff in there. Yeah, EMP? What is that thing in the bottom? Is uh, it do decoration? Okay. You can't search it. Um. So have we Talk covered? We've something. covered all of our movies, a movie yes. potential movie. All the marathons. movie marathons. Yep. Um, any other uh, director that you would want to? I don't know. I was looking see. at a list of famous directors, and and yeah, there's some. I don't know. Or themes. Ooh, themes. Oh, jeez. Um, that's a good question. How many? Like you could get, you could get, you could really drill down themes. All the Jane like... Austen adaptions. <laughs> uh. I know, I I know a movie marathon that James <laughs> will not attend. Um, I'll be somewhere else. We could I'll do, be downstairs. We could do all the Pride and Prejudice uh, adaptions. Oh, all of them over and out for the miniseries, days and days the and movies. Days. The uh, like ones from the seventies and the eighties and the nineties. They do them every every ten years. <laughs> every decade has a Pride and Prejudice of course uh, they do. Um, that would adaption. Be so terrible. Oh, it would be fantastic. Oh my god. Actually I am thinking Nightmare I'm fuel. thinking of actually suggesting that to uh, some of my friends. I will not <laughs> I will not be there. And then we can have a discussion about who our favorite Mr. Darcy is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, it would just be... All those movies are rich people complaining about which no. guy to marry. No. That's well, the it whole is. It thing. Is. Yeah, it is. But uh... What shall I wear to the dance? <laughs> Oh, my life is over. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, what else? It, it would be something weird like 80s fantasy films or something like that would be pretty awesome. They would be hmm. totally, totally crazy. Like... Uh, 80s fantasy films. You know, you've got... Um, You can put things like, uh, oh my, my brain, my brain has lost all the names of all the films. <laughs> um, like even, even movies like Never Ending Story and, uh, oh my God. like a very strong theme. No, it's a very strong theme. It's Dark crazy. Crystal, Krull, Return to Oz, like Never Ending Story, yep. Yeah. Um, goodness. I can picture actors in my head, and and the names are jumping forward. And it's too hard to do an actor marathon because actors are prolific. Yeah. Like directors can do maybe two movies a year, and that's crazy. And actors like, can do like four or five a year. Yeah. Not even a problem because it takes a month, two months sometimes. I was even going to say like The Princess Bride is a good one. I don't know if that that is fantasy. Yeah, that's fantasy. Um, gosh, what is what is that? 
What's the one, uh, Vader. not the Dark Crystal, with David Bowie in it? Um, and your favorite actress. <laughs> not my favorite. Um, Why like not? her, though. Uh, 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 Jennifer Connelly. Jennifer Connelly. Uh, <laughs> it's oh not my the name God. of the movie, though. <laughs> which Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Thank you, Big Big Poet. Um, which feels very inappropriate now when you watch it. Oh, it's very uh, <laughs> Yeah, my dad, and then there's the soft core porn fantasy titles like Death Star Star Stalker Star Stalker. Stalker. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's oh, a lot of good stuff in the eighties. Um, forgot about that guy. And and by good I mean exploitative and usually <laughs> pretty terrible, but that's okay. You can watch all the terrible in terribly inappropriate John Hughes films. Which feel yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah. <laughs> I don't remember that scene. I know. Oh, that's not good at all. I remember watching 16 Candles maybe in the last 15 years in a movie theater. And uh, there were certain jokes and the whole, the audience, which were, who were quite a bit younger, like gasped out loud. And I remember at the time going, oh yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> you just don't remember it. Oh, those have not aged well. Damn it. You got him? Yeah. Mama. Oops. We'll see. That was a terrible placement. Yay. Yay! Good job. Now I need my health kit. Yeah. Labyrinth is pretty deep and dark when you watch it carefully. Oops. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Bowie's character just happens to look like the man her actress mother ran off with. Oh. Seen in her bedroom in newspaper clippings. Oh. I see. I like movies that have that kind of darkness to them. <laughs> yeah. Much faster. Run through. Now we can go to the second level. Not that way. Not that it's way. Not the bottom. Plasma gun. Shoot at a distance only. Yeah, but I have so many, so much more ammo this time. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what you were doing with that I ammo. I was shooting things way too much. Yeah. Way too much. Maybe I won't be so scared of an Akira Kurosawa film festival yeah. after doing uh, this one. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. Oh. Which is how you pronounce his name. Scorsese. Because he was on uh, Colbert. Yeah. Show and he was he was pronouncing it Scorsese. And I was like, what? Everybody I hear says it's Scorsese. Scorsese. And then I looked it up and it's Scorsese. 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 Yeah. That's how you actually pronounce it. Interesting. Okay, but just a guy hanging out doing his thing He's being like, a very terrible robot just not doing a good around. job get out of my way <laughs> yeah labyrinth was fun it's a fun film A red dwarf in that film. Cat is in that film. The actor or? Uh, the voice. He is the voice of one of those creatures that takes its head off and bounces it around. Oh, really? Yep. That's cool. And you can definitely hear it after you know it. But I didn't, I hadn't seen Labyrinth since I had seen Red Dwarf. Really? And I watched Labyrinth again. And you're I like, like, I know that voice. Oh my God. I love that stuff. We're watching some, I think it's on Britbox in Canada. Darcy was over and we were watching a couple of old episodes of Red Dwarf. Ah, no, stop shooting him. I do like Cat. I think Cat's my one of my favorite characters. Cat's good. And in early episodes, he's very cat-like. Yes, he's he, like, he hams up the catness, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, you could do a so bad they're good movie marathon. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, I don't think I've ever been into so bad they're good movies. What? Michael Flatley did a vanity project <laughs> film called, called Blackbird? Black hmm. That's intriguing, Gamadev. <laughs> Very intriguing. He must have a lot of money, though. Yeah, it's spending on a movie. But since it's a so bad they're good, maybe he didn't spend too much on it. Not enough on the writing. <laughs> Usually that's the problem. Because could... even a crappy looking movie, if it has decent writing, is worth watching. Right? Yeah, yeah. You can make a really low budget film. <laughs> it's basically Casablanca meets an Irish tax write off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Willow. That was the one I was trying to think oh. of. 80s, 80s fantasy. I'm like, ugh. Oh, I can't go there. Well, I will search this thing first. I haven't, I've never seen Willow. Oh, key card. Oh I'm God. not sure I have. I'm not sure. I can't, if I have, I can't remember anything about it. I just, I remember like scenes from the movie. If, weirdly, there's some films like that. You can remember specific scenes, but. The, the only thing I've seen him in is Life's Too Short. Yeah, Which yeah. is so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And, and Return of the Jedi, but he's in a costume. So. Yeah, not quite the same. Doesn't quite count. Yeah. How's it going? What's his Level name? Two? I can't remember. Damn it. Uh, pretty good. On level two, I've almost got it cleared out. I think. I love these random pools in this, in this robotics facility. It's uh, very... Uh, Oh, very nice robotics facility. It's like, you ah, know, okay. Just so on the off I chance you need to go that guy with a one. super gun? Ooh. Can you do block? A bomb. Can you trap him so he doesn't come? I guess. I'm gonna do a bomb. Oh, oh perfect timing. Got one. Perfect timing. So I'm gonna so, do it in pretty much the same. Just comes as he over, goes away. And then he goes away. Just about perfect. Huh? Oh, go. got him. Good job. Excellent. And I've time. got 66 bombs, so. Yeah. Might as well use them. Great music. Yeah, the music is Translates really well fantastic. Yeah. I guess I need a chair for this guy. Look up an old uh, look up a, a photo of Michael Flatley and Blackbird, and then realize the guy in the yellow suit and John Tad is supposed to be the greatest spy. In the, oh my! <laughs> oh no! Come on, disappear. I want to clear this room out. That would be a good interview question. For who? Uh, so for anyone, like okay. if you had the ability to make a vanity project. Who would you be in what kind of film? Like you're the actor. You're the you're the lead character in your oh, own okay. vanity film. Well, I wouldn't. Who do would that you want to be? Would you want to be a spy? Would you want to be an action hero? Would you want to be, you know, like um, someone stuck uh, alone the kung in space? Kung fu hero? Do you want to <laughs> be the race driver? Do you want to be the guy stuck in space? Alone. Do you want to be Mad Max? You know, like no who action. would you be? in your vanity project film. I'm not saying anyone's gonna make it or anyone would ever give give you money to do it. <laughs> but who would you be it's in that free. vanity project? You could make project? it with your phone. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could have done it, you know, years ago if you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. That's interesting. So, I think this level's clear? Where am I? Yep, it's clear. Time for level three. Make a mistake, like shooting the super phaser close to me. This looks the same. Uh, no. Oh, you can look at the map if you want to see where everything is. Yeah, clear enough. <laughs> Just 
long as I search the rooms as I kill the bot robots. Yeah, there you go. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, and like every good vanity project, every woman in Blackbird wants to sleep with Flatley's character. <laughs> yeah, and is at least half his age. Those, that's the thing that I find the most hilarious, yeah. to be honest, with, with those types of films. It's just the... Unrealism of it. Or the... The sheer <laughs> ego of someone to think that that would work, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, usually the woman is a spy as well. Yes. And they're trying to get something from them. Oh, yeah. So that kind of makes it more realistic. It's like, oh, yeah. Fine. Well, it's 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 like it's like building the fantasy to make it plausible, you know? It, like, that, yeah. I guess so, yeah. If they even try to do that. <laughs> like, like, they're just so bad. Try my super gun. You know it from really far away. Yeah. How far does it shoot? Really far. Uh. Oh, okay. Not that close. <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to be careful though. It's like four. I'm gonna switch away, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, you wouldn't want to hit that. No, Hi. you got some treats. You got you won by five. What you got would, so many so treats. So little kitten, what would your vanity project be? Hmm? Would you be the master of 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 all the mice? I don't know. I don't know. Master you would of just mice. the master of mice, the master <laughs> of birds. He does like to jump up at birds. It yeah, would just be him a in a backyard killing birds all day long. <laughs> yeah. That would be he's his, like his that's vanity good enough for film. me. Yeah. You get everyone the first time too. Yep. You lure them in. That and good. Yeah. Master birder. Sprite. Master birder. <laughs> Master birder. Yeah. Don't say that too fast, no. by the way. No. No. It's not good. <laughs> oh, kitty. Ugh. Running out of bullets. This level's like pretty much forcing you to use other forms of destroying things because yeah. you're, you run out of bullets. Like, I will run out of bullets. Two more guys. I can't even kill two more guys. Kill one and a half more guys. If I had a vanity project, no, I don't want a vanity project. <laughs> but I do find it particularly hilarious in action films where these teeny tiny women beat the shit out of men. Yes. And I, it would be something like that. It, it would be like, you know, a, like... Someone takes on a room full of like, I don't know, karate experts or kung fu, and they destroy everyone in the room. I mean, uh, that's every Quentin Tarantino film. Really. It is, yes. But um, but it's just hilarious and and so unrealistic. It is. But it's fun, you know. Like if, it would be something. If like it's that. done by sheer strength. One hundred percent Kill Bill, exactly. Yeah. Although she does fight mostly. Well, not most. No, of them. she fights a whole lot of people. A lot of men. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, I mean, in in it's a like, fair fight where they're balanced, then yes, realistically, yeah. you could see one beating the other, but it's really like the one person against the room full of people. It's so so unrealistic in any action film. Yep. Back. <laughs> Too scared. But they're fun. They're so much fun. Yeah. It's ah. the, it's it's the car jumping over, you know, I'm over the river. Or... Oh my god, he shot me through the window. Oh he did. Bastard. <gasps> oh so bad. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you my gun. Through that window too. <gasps> Missed. Did you get him? Missed. I I got him there. Using my other weapons. Mm, the Room Disaster Artist is a good double feature. I think our local um I've never seen the cinema room. Did it. I think they yeah. did it. I think the Rio did. And they just they just showed his new movie. His yeah, second, they, second film they, some shark weirdness. Uh, <laughs> it looked terrible. It looked terrible. Uh but they play I think um uh, his name again. Uh they play all of his films. Which is hilarious. Uh, that director? That director, he's, yeah. That's, he's only done two. 
That's it. No, he, I thought he had done more. He's done some TV shows. Right? Oh, or web okay. shows. I thought he had done more than one film because it's he seems to get so much attention. But uh, people said he was w- way too self-aware in the TV show. That he's he's a bad director and he really amped that up. <laughs> but um, Tommy Wiseau, thank you, Gamma Dev. Yeah, he's pretty Ooh. hilarious. Disaster Artist was really good. I don't think I did. I, I did. I see that. No, he didn't. I watched it on the plane. I recommended uh, it to you afterwards. Yeah, I don't think I have seen it. It's it's really good, especially for filmmakers. I think filmmakers would really like it. What was because it goes through the act of filmmaking. We were watching Cinefix, and they brought up a documentary. What was it? American. Oh, hold on. Uh, movie or Ameri- something? American movie, I think it's called. Yeah, that's a another from movie. from the '90s, and I'd never heard of it. Movie I've never about seen movie that. making. Yeah, but you said it was fantastic. Oh, so good. I, I should watch that. But it's yeah. not good. It's 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 kind of the same as Disaster Artist. Is it? But they're actually making a documentary about the real filmmakers. And making it's so, their film. Making which their is, film. Yeah, but they're earnest, right? Like they're yes. they're they're. It, oh it's not God. made up like like it they're, feels they're, made up like yeah when i watched it I, american movie on tv yeah probably seven yeah um when i watched it on, for the first time on tv or whatever yeah i d- we didn't know whether it was real or not we couldn't figure it out if it was all it was, just a joke or if it was yeah yeah whether it was like these are real people or is this like a, a mockumentary yeah and it's like that. It's, wow. it's so weird. Oh, what am I going to do with these guys? Just throw a bomb out there when they go past. I might do that. It's a little bit safer. One, but it's going to be hard to time. Two, and then just bomb it. Well, you're going to have to swap out your item. You have to oh, right. I think item. right away, I think you want to do it as soon as they go past. Oop. Nice. I get one of them, so I have to do the other one earlier. Yeah. So I'll get that one first, and it's as soon as he goes by. That guy goes by. That guy goes anyway, by. I wouldn't mind seeing that after you. Which one? American mo- movie? Yeah. Nice, you got him. I'll we'll do them. the same for that guy. Um. Yeah, it's it's quite good. You know, it's rare someone says, "Hey, this film's fantastic," and you're like, "I've never heard of that." <laughs> So, go watch one. it. Oh, oh good. I think oh. it did get him. Rever- yeah, because he bounced back. Yeah, it must have hurt him a bit. I'm going to wait for him to go back down again. I'm trying to think of other films. That, that'd be an interesting... That oh, might be a bit tedious. Oh, I think he's not quite... Yeah. You have to wait just a bit longer. Yeah. Might be a bit tedious to watch films about filmmakers. Because <laughs> it gets pretty samey, samey, I think, after a while. And it says another earnest movie making doc is Raiders of the Lost Ark, the adaption, where a group of kids, at least when they started, spent 20, 20 plus years, do you mean? Making a shot for shot remake of Raiders? <laughs> I think I heard about 20 that plus? one. 20 plus? Yeah. I assume you mean years. Yeah, yeah, 20 years. Wow. Years. Wow. That's, that's quite a commitment. <laughs> so when are you putting together Rant Media, the doc- documentary? No? Never. Somebody else can do that. <laughs> I'll supply them all the background. There all, you go. all the footage. They can piece it together. <laughs> but I, I was starting to make um, a documentary about Sean. Oh, really? And I have footage. Really? Of going to various places with him, but... Uh, mm. Oh, and I just... A river in the middle of this place. Oh, another bad guy. Oh, my God. Well, then you need the Z key card and probably have to move all that or... Yeah. So what do we have left here? Um, the bad guy and there's one... Oh, there's two more. What floor? Kind of middle one. Oh. Right, so is the third? Fourth floor? What kind of guy is this? Oh, so. Hoverbot. Uh, I'll just bomb him, I think. No, I'll shoot him. I don't know. I think we were saying in one of our previous streams that we had watched a, someone's summary of the best films of the year. 
Yeah. And we realized we hadn't watched many films this year. And there yeah. were quite a few on that list that were very Ooh, interesting and in, oh, very good. intriguing. So yeah. um, that there were probably some worth worth you know revisiting and seeing. Oh yes. Oh, there's so many. Um, I feel like we haven't watched a lot Cinefix? of movies. Cinefix. Cinefix. Was it probably Cinefix? Oh, they're fantastic. Hi. You are so cuddly. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the danger room. Such a cuddly cat. Oh yeah. Oh, I can put plant a bomb. You can also. Or I should save all these for this guy over here. Well, I think you can. Because there's nothing around him. Well, yeah, you no, can. No, no. You can draw him into the room somehow, but I don't think you can get out, can you? No. Because no. if you shoot that guy, that whole room goes up. Yep. And, and unless I shoot him with just my pistol. But what's pistol. down at the bottom there? Is there something down past him? Really, you gotta. Ooh, how do you even get? I have to do like this. But you really do want to use these on that crazy bot guy. Oh yeah. It's so tedious, though. He's so far away. Maybe I don't want to. You can't lure him in there, though. I was thinking lure him, but... There, I swear there was some something or that you lured in there, but... You also what need you a key card to get in there, but... Do... You could block him out. Yeah. I mean, it is interesting that when they, they go off, they keep him blocked in that room, so you just need three. But, um... Oh, my God. You can't get out. You can't get out without there? I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm get I, think you need, I think I would put as many... <laughs> To make sure that his path is blocked. But if I uh, put that there, I could probably kill him with this laser that I have and a bomb and yeah. like a bunch of stuff. I should just do that now. Hey, Kev! Hey. Right I think I'm gonna get a two more. Careful. Yeah, just... What are you doing? Oh, there you go. Putting it in there. <laughs> smart. I'm going to put two more. Yeah. That works out gently. I'm going to plant a bomb so it can run away. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We can went by too quickly again. Agreed. Always. Uh, it's almost... It's ten. Getting close to getting ready for bed. Yeah. Sadly, <laughs> weekend is almost over. We're almost done this level, and then there's just one above. One, one, uh, one or two floor, floors. One floor above. But you have to kill the guy on the first floor, right? Yeah. yeah. But I didn't have the key card for no. that guy. Which I might know. I don't know. It said Z on it. Yeah. And then it's a short leap from documentary to mockumentary. I, have, oh, I haven't seen... Yeah, Christopher Guest. I've always loved I think I've only place. seen Best in Show. Really? Yeah, I haven't seen Spinal Tap. I haven't you seen... haven't seen Spinal Tap? No. Maybe really? Maybe some Mighty Wind I saw. I, I, I mean, they're all great films, but Spinal Tap might be the best because it was sort of the original. Right. Um, uh, uh, what's the other one they did? Um, oh, he's got, they've got four there. No, uh, uh, it's about them doing a musical in a small town. I saw that in the theater. Um, Parker Posey's in it. Well, it's all the same crew. Should put it uh, here. Oh Should my we? gosh, I've already forgotten. Waiting for Guffman. Thank you, Gamma Dev. <gasps> no, 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 no. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I didn't run away fast enough. Oh, right, what's well, everyone? <laughs> okay. Well. That's it for now. <laughs> that's it for now. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> waiting for Guffman. Love waiting for Guffman. I think I've seen. No, I accidentally pressed one to start it. Have I seen uh, For Your Consideration? I've seen the rest of them, though. Definitely saw Mighty Wind, Best in Show, Spinal Tap, Waiting for Guffman. I think Best in Show is... I, I think I saw which that one. Is the one. Best. best in Show is one of the best. Um, but Spinal Tap, 
Yeah, even it's Kev is like, I'm sure Curry would, Corey would have made you watch <laughs> Spinal Tap. He didn't. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. Spinal Tap is... Okay, well, I have to watch American Movie and you have to watch Spinal Tap. We'll, well watch those watch two. Watch all of those. We'll make it a double header. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch them all That'd again. It'd be a good marathon. It would be a good marathon. Is it, is it all Rob Reiner directed all those? I don't think so. It was multiple different people? Was Rob Reiner the director of the first one? He yeah. was just in it, wasn't he? No. Oh, he was the director. Wasn't he the director? I don't think he was... He was in it as a director. He was in it. I don't know. Spinal Tap's great. I'm going to look it up. I mean, Gotta know. Oh, if you have a chance, pick up the Criterion version. It is hours of extra material. Reiner directed Spinal Tap, but Guest did all, all the others. Okay, that's what I oh, thought. Oh, okay. I thought it was Christopher Guest who did the rest. Right. Uh, Christopher Guest wrote This is Spinal Tap. Yeah. Criterion version of Waiting for Guffman or Spinal Tap? <laughs> Yeah. Since you just mentioned waiting for Guffman, but I would well, I would get any of them. I wonder I wonder how many of uh, Christopher Guest's films are on Criterion. Don't know. I have a lot of Spinal Criterion. Final Tap. So. Yeah, I, that's what I figured. I have a lot of Criterion, so I've, I'm. Or you could just subscribe to the Criterion channel. That's true. For things you don't want to buy but want to watch. Well, yeah, because you buy a lot for the movie marathons, but yes. if there was a lot on Criterion for one of those marathons, yes. you just join it for a month if you can and, 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 yeah, and stream. That's not a terrible way to do it. And then you just make a list of all the movies you want to watch. Uh, I've heard rumors of a Spinal Tap sequel. Oh, boy. How? Yeah. How? <laughs> wow. Hmm. Interesting. Has Christopher Guest... Five hour cut. Done Nobody wants to see five hour cuts. I don't know. Uh, in terms of directing? Well, I just of new films. I don't know. I have to look at the dates. It's been a while. But I haven't uh for your consideration I didn't see that might might have been the last one. As there's like a five hour cut of Spinal Tap, plus they have multiple commentary tracks. One with the guys in character. Oh my god. God, okay, that might be worth the Criterion version for sure. Yeah, he made a movie called Mascots in 2016, Family Tree 2013, Thick of It 2007. But uh, I don't think those are in the line of those. So the Thick just of It? For your consideration. Oh, that's, been... that's, that's just a TV show. The Thick of It? Doesn't look like one. It would say... Family Tree is a TV show too. Oh, episodes. That, that's They're not. They're episodes. The Thick of It? Well, this is a British. I thought it was a British series, mm. unless unless I'm confused and it's it's a movie. I thought it was a TV series. So what Veep was based off of? Oh. Anyway, mascots. Was that Spinal Tap Two was in production, then a pandemic, then a writer strike. Oh well, they'll continue if it was already in production. Mascots is definitely in the same vein, so that must have been the last similar kind of mockumentary mm. type of film well we're all done we died twice in level two we're pathetic so uh we'll try that again we'll another to, day we'll have to give it another go i was almost there but i i made a mistake um so we have one more episode before we reveal the nominees for the atari homebrew awards mm -hmm. they'll be revealed on friday with darcy at noon mm -hmm. The last votes are coming in tomorrow. It's the last day to vote for the nomination committee. For the nomination, okay. Not, not committee. Not the nomination people out there. Committee. Nomination committee. Okay. And then we reveal them on Friday. Mm -hmm. And then the votes open for the public. That'll be very exciting. Excellent. I'm interested to see which games uh, get nominated. Because I've just been putting them in the spreadsheet. I haven't been really paying attention too much to see what, uh, what the scores, what the big ones uh the ones get the most score so you've been kind of trying to distance yourself from knowing what's going on i just don't bother you just don't want to add it till the end well it's it's pointless looking at the numbers go up and down yeah, i just i just true. wait till the end and then just then take a look at all it at once. Yeah. yeah that's fair that's fair i mean a lot of people would know kind of which ones like some of them which ones would be on top but you don't nobody knows really what all of, all the top six are going to be for sure mm. But you have an inkling of like maybe one or two. It's like, oh yeah, that will probably get nominated, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, next episode, uh, don't know what we're going to play. Um, lots of development have slowed down in this last little bit. Um, but we're going to be playing at least Dungeon Adventurer on okay. Tuesday. 
Rocketeer Rebounced, maybe, because there's a bug fix happening with that. So hopefully um, it'll be ready? Yeah, it may or may not be ready. I kind of have to know tomorrow. Okay. Because that's when I promote it, but I could add it in late. Okay. Um, I'll just kind of scour, see what uh, see what's available. Maybe go back in the archives mm -hmm. for some 8-bit games. Nice. Now that I have my Atari 8-bit fixed. Nice. F hopefully fully fixed. Yeah. Um, there was multiple things wrong with it. Yeah. The VBXE board was not seated correctly or the Antic chip, one or the other. So yeah. I reseated those. Yes. Then, for some reason, a new problem came up where the keyboard started to short something on the VBXE board, mm. video card board, and it was giving a different kind of yellow screen. So I... That's um, crazy. Yeah. It never... Oh, thank you for following. Philosophon. Uh, Philosophon. Great name. <laughs> Um, so I put capson tape, is that what it's called, um, along the little pins beneath each of the keys on mm -hmm. the keyboard, and um, that's insulated tape, Yeah. so that it doesn't interfere anymore. Nice. And it's absolutely perfect now, for now, <laughs> at least. Um, but there was some audio issue uh, with VBXE games, but I figured out what was causing the issue... Um, and I reported it to the um, AVG, or the uh, sub-average cart developer. Okay. Because it was only th the stereo output from the sub-average cart. That was causing, okay. That was causing, the audio was like, meh, it's making a terrible noise. Oh, no. But um, the audio out from the VBXE board was fine. The audio out from the normal computer was fine. It was just the stereo add-on thing. And I just turned off the COVID, a Covox, COVID. the COVID output. <laughs> turned down the COVID. Yeah, it turned way down to turned one it, it or zero. It was up at 11, but now it's down yeah. to zero. Yeah. Yeah. The Covox <laughs> emulation on the sub-average cart yeah. turned it off, and that got rid of it. Mm. I don't know if that's like, and it was only, it only made that noise when you started the game. Mm. So I don't know if it's some interference between VBXE and Covox. I don't know, but I reported it, and we'll see what he says. Um, at least it's reproducible. Um, so thanks for hanging out tonight. Yeah, thank you. This late night stream. Kind of uh, after dark, we're just playing stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, catching up. Just... I've been I've been wanting to play this. Yes, I do know. I I know things about <laughs> Spinal <laughs> Tap. <laughs> like all these movies, I haven't seen. I know all the big. You things. know the references. I know yeah. the references, yeah. but I haven't seen the film. No, yeah, no, I do know it goes to eleven. I want to. I want to put it on for him like right now. I want to leave the stream and then just watch Spinal Tap. Not, not impossible to watch it before going to bed, but there's there's. I I don't know how long it is actually. I don't think it's a particularly long no. film. Um. Oh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, Gamma Dev, yes. Eight Bit Poet. Yes. It's Kev. It's Kev. Prow 7, seven. Uh, uh, Charles Whelan, D-Train, RC-70, Crewneck Lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Kat. Give me your butt. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody else who is lurking. Yes. Um, and we will be back on Tuesday. Was it a great show? I don't know. It was an okay show. Oh, it we was, had cats. It was relaxing. We, had games. we were chatting about movies. It's always a good time. That's that's what we do in After Dark. Yeah. Good film talk. Yes, it was good film talk. Yeah, I like so, good film talk. Um, and yeah, how did you like the controller? Good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Worked, worked really out well. much better than the the hand controller and all the issues we had before. This well, that was that much a, better. That was a problem. No, yeah. but yeah, but it functions the way it and should. The buttons are good. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I like yeah. the layout. It's not bad. Yeah, the layout yeah. is good for the. I, I still have Switching. to stop and think. Is it select and left and right? Like that's the only yeah. thing. But well, the more uh, we play it, the more you get comfortable with it. The, the yeah. more intuitive it'll become. But yeah, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So we're back on Tuesday. Um, and then back on Friday yes. for the A H A A A A H A. That's hard to say. Atari Homebrew Awards is Yay! much easier to say. Uh, nominee announcements. That's gonna be fun. That will be very fun. Yep. Unfortunately, you won't be there. No. But you'll find out. Do we know who will be there or? Darcy. It's Darcy's. Okay. Ninety-five percent chance is Darcy, unless there's some, some catastrophe on the ferries. Weather catastrophe. <laughs> ferry not. strike. Is there supposed to be a fairy strike? Are they all striking now? 
We just had our transit workers on, transit worker supervisors on strike, which caused a bit of chaos last oh, week. And they're planning on, oh, is that happening tomorrow? i got to look in the news. I don't know. Because they were planning on doing it tomorrow again. Another strike tomorrow? Yep. Ugh, never For good. three days this time. I mean, good on them. I yes. hope they get what they, they you know, deserve to get. They've got leverage with strikes. Uh, but uh, it, it causes a lot of chaos. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. Bus, bus chaos. Bus chaos. Transit never good. chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of here. Uh, see you on Tuesday. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.